What's up? Pastor Christian here. This is the Midweek Drive. So today, we're going to continue on with the series that we started at the beginning of this one called Being Thankful. And in particular, today I want to tell you that I'm thankful that God wants the best for us. So I started thinking about a show game this week. And I don't know if you've ever played a show game, but the rules are simple. You get a shell or a ball or something like that, and you put it under a cup, and you usually have one, three cups, maybe more. And the whole purpose is to just keep spinning around, spinning around, and the person on the other side is supposed to guess where that shell went. Where did it go? And so the person on the other side, their whole point is to make the right choice and choose where that shell went. And I feel like for many of us, that can be feel exactly how life is for many of us, is that our life's decisions, the ups and downs in life, feel like a show game. Like everything is just mixing around and consistently. We're trying to figure out the best decision to make at any given moment. Our lives can feel like a show game. But here's the truth. Here's my encouragement for you today, is that God wants a very best for you. And when we start to place our trust in God, and we start to place our future and our hope 100% in God, those hard decisions that seem like a shell game to us no longer become filled with stress and anxiety for us. We see this in Jeremiah 29, 11, how God wants the very best for us. And this is a popular verse. Many of you have read this before, but it says this. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. When this was written, Israelites didn't even know of captivity. They had just been taken slaves. And so for them, their life choices seemed like a show. They could not know the correct decision to make. Do they follow the new man's rules or do they stick with what they knew to be true? What were they to do? This was a hard decision for them. God gave them an encouragement. He told them that he had plans for their future for good welfare, to give them hope and not to bring evil upon them. And I pray today that you take hold, take captive of that message that's in there, that God has plans for you. And no shell game of life's decisions can stop God's plans from coming to fruition. I'm thankful today, every day, that God wants the best for us. And I encourage you today to be just as thankful that God wants the best for you. And then I challenge you to seek out God with your whole heart and watch how he makes those decisions, the shell game like decisions that you face in your life, how he makes them stress free. Be blessed. Be encouraged this week. 